The fluid sampler emitter stems from some work that I did while I was working at Sony on the Matrix movies, where we had to render out these huge fluid volumes, and uh, the rendering times were really slow because we had to bake in all of this lighting of the, uh, the ships, uh, hitting the fluid with lights and calculating self-shadows and all that, and uh, we just really couldn't afford the render times. So it was, uh, it was originally implemented through Sumel, but now it's, uh, it's in here as a plugin for fluids, and it, basically what it does is it uh, allows you to write into fluid voxels um, information based on sampling shader networks. So uh, to give you an idea of what that means, here we've got a fluid, and it's, uh, it's being illuminated um, using this fluid sampler emitter. And the color is, is coming off of sort of the, the default shader in the Maya scene. And if we go over to that shader, Uh, we've got our Lambert shading model with a ramp um, connected to it. So what this means is that um, I can basically take my fluid and illuminate it with Maya lights um, fairly interactively. I want I can rotate that light around. And, uh, and basically what you can do then is bake that lighting information into the voxels. So while it's not as accurate, um, not nearly as accurate as it would be if you actually rendered out uh, this fluid with a shader um, and calculated all the lighting as it marched through the, the volume, what you can do is get some general um, lighting and shading effects in there. Uh, you can also use this to have, uh, have shaders right into things like the density or a heat map or fuel map. So you could um, hand paint an animated sequence, let's say, of, of uh, a fuel spilling and then apply it to the fuel inside of this fluid sim using a fuel map um, and a projection. And I'll show you that with this next file. So th this example is a lot more like the Matrix example where I've got a spotlight and another light that need to just run through this fluid and illuminate it. Um, to, to show you a bit about the, the complexity of what you can do here, in this spotlight I've sort of carved out a bat signal projection. It's, it's pretty weak, but, uh, but kind of give you an idea. So you could bake that directly into your fluid and then when you go out to render, um, it'll look a little bit better than what it looks like now, but because the, the rendering will do some interpolation between voxels, but uh, it doesn't have to do that computation um, through ray marching, which can be a significant time savings. Um, to go through a few of the attributes, you know, basically a voxel doesn't have any any notion of uh, of a normal direction, right? So if you're doing things like lighting calculations, um, you need to know which way the voxel is pointing relative to the light. So there's uh, there's some different options. So we could just assume that all voxel all voxels are pointing up in the y-axis, um, down, uh, pointing in the x or z-axis. You can also use the center out. Um, so what that does is basically it, it looks at the center point of the whole fluid and from there all voxels point outwards um, from that direction. Um, in terms of, of uh, how it treats UVs, you can take a look at this example. Let's take this fluid here and uh, bump up the resolution a bit. And in this fluid sampler emitter, the fluid color is being set with a ramp. So I can use a U ramp or a V ramp. And now I can go into the fluid sampler emitter and, and specify how to set the voxel UVs. Um, are they based on the X and Z of the fluids? Or is it based on the, the Y and Z? rather the X and Y, which sort of treats the UV space this way, or you can actually use the internal UVs of the voxels um, when they have those. So basically the, the fluid sampler emitter um, gives you a much more powerful way to, to apply data to voxels um, within your fluid, um, you know, beyond what you could do with the traditional add edit contents of uh, the paint fluids tool or gradients. 
um, you actually have the full exposure to projection nodes and lights and shaders and all that kind of stuff.